iPad OS 26 is here and it's the biggest update iPads ever seen. Yes, there is liquid glass design, but I'm super excited for a full Mac style multitasking and windowing features, which can literally replace my laptop. There's new apps like Preview and Journal, Smarter AI, and a ton of small updates that make a big difference. In this video, I'll walk you through all the new features, how to use them, and why they actually matter in everyday life. Let's jump right in. As soon as you install iPadOS 26, you're greeted by Liquid Glass, a sweeping visual overhaul with translucent, refractive UI elements that shimmer and subtly react to light and touch. We have seen the Liquid Glass UI in full detail on iOS 26 video, but I really love what Apple has done here. It's modern, minimal, unique, and each app showcases Liquid Glass in exciting ways. Like the music app, the new camera app, clear icons on the home screen, the way notifications appear, the way movements interact with light, so fluid and refreshing to see. App icons now shift their tint based on whether you are in light or dark mode. And the redesigned control center picks up soft, dynamic hints from whatever is behind it. Liquid Glass is bringing new design to multiple native apps like Safari, Music App, Photos App, Camera App, FaceTime App, Settings App and more. It's a fresh coat of paint that makes the entire iPad experience feel more premium and honestly, I really like this update. Next up, the multitasking overhaul. This is the biggest and most important update to iPadOS 26 in my opinion. It brings your iPad even close to a Mac in terms of functionality. All windows are now fully resizable. Just grab a corner and drag. You can move them anywhere. And they've got the classic red, yellow, green traffic light buttons to close, minimize or go full screen. Swipe down from the top and you will get an app specific floating menu bar. There are new tiling options, layout presets and even expose for quick visual window switching. Pair this with a keyboard and a mouse and honestly, it just feels like using a Mac. I love this change, it makes the iPad so much more capable. You can write a document while referring PDFs, drag files between windows, keep a video or FaceTime call floating while you are browsing or customize your layout to exactly what you need. Juggling apps now feels intentional and not clunky. Dedicated menu bar brings so much more options to an app and adds functionality. If I had to pick one feature highlight of iPadOS 26, this would be it. Apple intelligence makes its way to iPadOS 26 and it's surprisingly useful. Translation works inside FaceTime, messages and calls, translating your voice or text in real time. The best part is, this runs on device without needing cloud support. But I'm just not sure how often I would FaceTime someone with a different language. But it's good to see it coming to iPad 2 along with iPhone. Genmoji now lets you combine multiple emojis into a new emoji, which I think is more useful than a regular Genmoji. Image Playground can now also use ChatGPT to generate images right inside the app. Shortcuts can now use Apple intelligence to summarize notes, brainstorm ideas, or create text on demand. As I said, these Apple intelligence features can be accessed fully on device if needed, which is a huge deal. This means summarizing and email generation are not just offline capable, but they are also so much faster than using cloud or chat GPT models. Three new native apps are coming to iPad and they are game changers. They are Journal, Preview app and the traditional phone app. Journal makes a lot of sense on the iPad because now I can jot down thoughts and how my day went using an Apple Pencil which mimics writing an actual diary at the end of the day. Preview straight from macOS is finally on iPad. It's like an enhanced file manager app which can open any type of file like opening PDFs or images annotate them, sign forms, and combine documents without a third-party app. If you've ever had to mark up lecture notes, edit a contract, or brainstorm on the go, 
these two apps makes the iPad feel far more complete. Finally, the traditional phone app is also coming to iPad. This was available on iPad at some form, but now with native interface, you can start recording phone calls, which can be automatically transcribed and stored in Apple Notes on iPad. iPad is the best device to use Apple Notes, and now with direct integration, phone app makes so much more sense. The Files app is getting much more smarter in iPadOS 26. You can now customize folders with colors and emojis. You can also set default apps for file types. This means if you set PDFs to open in a specific tool, it will always use the same app instead of the old default app. There's also a new cleaner list view to view the files in folders. And one favorite new feature in iPadOS 26, you can drag any folder into your dock. It's so much more easier to access my most used folder quickly from the dock just with one tap. Okay, this is a small one, but incredibly useful for those who use the iPad like a computer. Those long running tasks like exporting photos or videos can now happen in the background. This means you can context switch to a different app and be more productive while the background task completes the tasks without any interruption. With the new Files app features, pinning folders to dock, background tasks, and file management, the iPad now feels closer to a laptop experience. Creators, you will love this. iPadOS 26 now lets you choose your audio input per app. Swap between the built-in mic, external mics, or AirPods on the fly. There's also local capture, which records separate high-quality video and audio streams during calls or conferences. Perfect for podcasts, tutorials, or interviews. No extra gears, no complicated setup. The iPad can now handle serious recording sessions on its own. Finally, a few smaller updates that are worth calling out. Messages gets polls and custom chat backgrounds for more interactive group conversations. The calculator app finally gets multivariable equations and even 3D graphing. Great for students. And a new games app keeps all your Apple Arcade and game titles in one place. None of those alone is a headline feature, but together they make daily use more fun and convenient. And that's iPadOS 26. Liquid Glass makes it feel brand new, multitasking finally feels like a pro, AI tools are smarter and actually useful, native apps fill long-standing gaps, and little upgrades all over the place makes the iPadOS 26 the perfect one. Let me know in the comments what's your most favorite feature, are you most excited about the new multitasking, the native preview app, or the AI tool. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for deep dives like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.